What can a white person do that a black person can't do? Black applicants to jobs are 50% less likely to get jobs with they have a black sounding that, name. That, that's not even close that to being true. That's not even that close to being true. That is like, a literal. That, in that's, fact, it's yes, the opposite. That is, I'm not going to argue your oh. lived experience. I'm not going to. No. No. See, now I'm you not, have to listen to him under your rules because course. a black person is going to say am, you're wrong. I am. He can say I'm wrong. I, I know I Come on up your, to the mic. I know I read, I read your... I, my name is Kimon Dixon. I have a really black name. Please no. tell me how 50% of my internships have been denied when I've worked for Senator Mike Lee, Mayor Trent Stack, Speaker Mike Schultz. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back again with a new video. We're going to, today, we're going to check it out. Charlie Cook shuts down arrogant students who insult his intelligence. Okay, this is going to be amazing to watch, and I love Charlie Kirk a lot, and I love us to check this video out together. Let's get right into it. You dropped out of college, and what? your highest community college. Mm. Sorry, your Harper College experience. Yeah, I apologize. Barely was smart enough to make it through community college. Okay, so barely made it through high school. Your too. highest degree level is an honorary doctor's degree from Liberty University. No, that's true. I do have an honorary PhD. Yeah. So essentially, what are your qualifications? for arguing that college is a scam or really any having any economical knowledge at all when likely the vast majority of the students here know more than you about economics as a whole. Okay, so, uh, no, hold on, it's okay, guys, it's okay. Uh, who's Milton Friedman? Who's Milton Friedman? I have no idea, and it's not important to this conversation. <laughs> who, who is Ludwig von Mises? Mm, these are all probably economists, and they're the same, yeah. the same who thing. Yeah, John Maynard Keynes? That, okay, obviously I know who Keynes is. Oh, obviously, yeah. He's the most famous economist of all well, time. You don't know Milton Friedman? I mean, that's an economist. Okay, how about Murray Rothbard? That's another economist. F.A. Hayek? I don't know who that is. Well, then you just came here and insulted my intelligence. For You're right, I barely made it through community college because I was too busy, I don't know, starting a national youth movement with hundreds of thousands of members. Hey, hold on, though. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Employing hundreds of people, raising hundreds of millions of dollars, yes. having a top ten most popular podcast, sure. and reaching tens of millions of people online every day. Sure, but, hold on. but you're also what calling all of your constituents idiots no, by I've saying they participate that, in a scam. They, you, their hold shirts on a right there. I'm College calling the scam. institution a scam. So then, I never why, insulted okay, the so intelligence. Then, I just so had then, ten people come up, and we had warm conversations. So you asked, what are my qualifications? I'm a job creator, entrepreneur, autodidact. Do you know what that word means? Self-taught. Mm. Yeah, uh, self-taught. You know, you should probably learn that word if you're going to oh, come okay. up and okay. insult other people's intelligence. Hey, hey, hey. So autodidacticism is what Leonardo da Vinci was. You don't have to go to college to be wise. You don't have to go to college to be intelligent. I read 100 books a year. I visit over 150 hey, colleges. I'm not saying hey, you're unintelligent. I, I'm, just, I'm just saying you lack qualifications. Question. Well, are you a New York Times bestseller? Of course not. I'm okay, in college. Got it. So I'm just trying. What are my qualifications? I have published books, read lots of books, dialogued a lot of people, and instead of asking what my qualifications okay. are, yet can you name one thing I've ever wrong. said? That, hold on. Name one thing I'm wrong about. You literally just you just now incorrectly cited the difference between socialism and communism. While you H how yourself, so? what did I how do? so? You claimed that Russia was socialist. Russia oh, the, the was never Soviet socialist. Union was socialist. So no, it was a communist nation. There is a significant difference well, between wh the two. Why did Lenin say that socialism is the gateway to communism? And he was self-described uh, uh, socialist Lenin, in his private Lenin, treatise and documents in the Russian Revolution. Lenin was overtaken over by Stalin. Capital. Hold on a second. No, so, Lenin died, and then Stalin was his successor. Yes. So, but Lenin himself said, "Quote." That socialism is the introductory phase to communism. Did okay, he not say so that? Okay, so then the vast majority of people when they're referring to communist Russia are referring to Stalin's rule over Russia. That was a communist rule that turned into a fascist rule later on. Okay, so but what 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 thinker was deified in Soviet Russia? That what had, thinker was deified? Yeah, what, yes. Marx. Oh, and, and what, what, what book did Marx write? Yes, he wrote Capital, which and he also wrote the, the, you communist, know, the communist Manifesto. Manifesto. Who was his co-author? Who was co-author? Angles. Yeah, angles. angles. Good. I'm glad college is really paying off for you. Hey. So, um, so no, hey. but it's okay. It's fine. If he comes up here and insults my intelligence, what are your qualifications? Doesn't even know the co-author of the Communist Manifesto or Das Kapital. But no, let me just again, so again. I, I, but I, does but, my lack of knowledge on that mean that I have no, no knowledge again? Up, you is that the same thing? You came up here and insulted me, and you, you came up here, guns ablazing, man. And let me just ask again. What did I say that was wrong? I said that. Under the generally agreed upon definition of communism and socialism, which are interchangeable terms, one is a more harsh degree of the other, is that the elimination of the family, 
the elimination of private property, and the deprivation of basic human rights, such as right to speech, right to assembly, and right to worship, how is that not a good definition of communism or socialism? Because that explains the fascism better. Well, but in the Communist Manifesto, Marx said, quote, we are here to destroy the nuclear family and eradicate the family because it was the original oppressive tyrannical structure. He said religion is the opiate of the masses and that private property must be eradicated. I have just now documented all three of those with evidence back to original source documents. And then in practice, Russia did all those three things when they were the Soviet Union. So but, where am I but wrong? Then, but, then, but then at the same time, if you claim that those are all negative things, then why do you practice certain things in, those, in the doctrines that you just stated? Well, I, I'm not trying to take people's stuff away. Mm. I want people to have bigger families and I want churches to remain open. Yeah, but the thing is, so is your main no, but your main your biggest thing, your biggest point that everyone here is for is that you're a potential white supremacist. So oh, oh, oh. what evidence do you have that I'm a racist? I was just literally watching a video of you talk about how talking about whiteness as a whole, talking about whiteness as a concept, okay? And you were trying to explain how white privilege doesn't exist. Correct, it doesn't. You are a white man, how do you know? Uh because I have eyes. Because you have eyes. That's and not I a description. Reason. So what can a black person do that I can't do in America? Or what can a black versa? person do? What can I so do a black person can't do, I Let's say. think of some history right here. Let's go no, no, through no, the no, history no, of no, redlining. I, I don't need a history. Li- I don't have yes, lesson. No, no, you're talking about you white people. You do need a history lining. Clearly, no, I, you need I, a history lining. I know lesson. you're talking points better than you do, and I've read all those li- the literature that you have. I've, I've probably forgotten history more about the literature. The pa- history affects the present day as well, and you know that's true. If you went to college, you would know. Well, hold on a second. But Let me. So then why are you wearing the college of the scam shirt? Drop out. Well. Well, because you could. You so could, it's because you don't believe your own beliefs, and that's what I'm well, saying. Well, you, you can admit something's a scam and still get through it. That's why he's wearing it. Okay. You well, could be, then you why? Could, you could feel like you're getting ripped off by an airline but and anyways, still want to get to New York. That's not what we're talking okay? about anymore. Like you could still, you could, you're like, I'm getting ripped off by a thousand dollar ticket, but you still get on the airplane. Like it doesn't make you a hypocrite. It means that the people are ripping you off, and a lot of you are getting ripped off. But no. So as far as white privilege, just with, without the history lesson of you know Jim Crow, segregation, imperialism, colonialism, slavery, all the stuff that I know that you're going to say, but just in concretely in America today, what can a white person do that a black person can't do? Black applicants to jobs are 50% less likely to get jobs with they have a black sounding that, name. That, that's not even close that to being true. That's not even that close to accurate. being true. That like, is a literal. Like, that, in fact, it's yes, the opposite. Is, I'm not going to de- argue your oh. lived experience. I'm not going to, no. no. See, now I'm you not, have to listen to him under your rules because course. a black person is going to say am, you're wrong. I am. He can say I'm wrong. I've, I know I Come on up your, to the mic. I know I read, I read your... Is, I, no, my name's Kimon Dixon. I have a really black name. Please no. tell me how 50% of my internships have been denied when I've worked for Senator Mike Lee, Mayor Trent Sachs, Speaker Mike Schultz. Hold on. I've worked for a congressman, Burgess Owens. I've actually worked on his campaign. I've worked on the campaigns of John Huntsman Jr. Please tell me how my black experience and my black man has not given me shit. Go ahead. So... <laughs> Okay, he just answered the same right there. Like the his question have been fully answered. This is beautiful. Charlie have nothing else to say again. Because he's trying to defend himself, but at the same time, Charlie does answer them. And the black man coming there just makes everything more simple for Charlie. Like my point has to say so. There's nothing a black man can do that a white man cannot do in the US. Every single one of them is the same thing. Just that the culture differs. A black man's culture is different from a white man's culture. That is where the difference lies, not what they can do and what they cannot do. If you talked about the 18th centuries or the 19th centuries, or I would say, okay, there's possibility. But those acts has been abolishing, has been, has been abolished that a white man can do this and a black man can do this. Why, what a black man can do, a white man can also do. So it's, it's equal. Which in, in history have never been the same like that before. But right now, everyone can do the same thing or another. In respect of your color, your skin tone, your race, you can do literally the same thing what a white man can do, what a black man can do, what a Hispanic can do. Like, literally the same thing. So this entire video was beautiful to watch. Um, the students himself do not accept what Charlie said about school is a scam. I feel like Charlie, he's not intelligent enough to come talk to them about school is a scam. Charlie points of the view is not telling that you are a scam. He's saying... The institution itself is a scam because people tend to finish school and not have job. And people, aside not having job, people tend to finish school and not use a certificate to do anything. And they are in debt and they have to pay tens of thousands of dollars to settle. 
uh, things that the entire school itself was actually a scam to them. So you be in the school, finishing school, and you believe that school is a scam. You don't have to drop out to use it to say school is a scam. You know that they're, they're ripping you off. But at the same time, you just want to finish it. <laughs> it's, it's funny like that. I felt that way when I was in college. I felt like, this school is ripping me off. I might not use my certificate to do anything. But I have to finish the school. You understand? So it, it, it happens. Because they're ripping you off, does not mean you don't want to finish the school. Some people feel like, okay, there's, there's something else they want to do. They don't want to finish the school. Some people drop out. Whereas some people don't, just don't want to drop out, but they know they're being ripped off, but they just want to finish it. In the sense of, maybe they're not the one funding their school fees, maybe their parents, and they don't want to let their parents to be down. So they want to just finish the school for their parents. You understand? So it's, it's, it's really beautiful to watch this debate. And I have, I have less words to use for this entire video because the black students that came out right there just answered the entire question. Like, it was beautiful to watch. And I was, I'm really happy that the black student was actually there and hearing the entire conversation and I clarified it openly. There is nothing a white man can do that a black man cannot do in the US. There is literally nothing. Like, there's nothing you will say. <laughs> if it's in the campaign, is it the jobs, literally everything, guys. It's, there are a lot of white people who are unemployed in the US. But, the people, the black people feel like the, the jobs are all for the white people. But there are a lot of white people who are employed and seeing the black in jobs and feel like, why is the black man in job where I am not in the job? But we are all the same thing. We should stop looking at the race. I keep on saying that. Stop looking at the skin color. Stop that. Just look at everyone as we are all human beings. Irrespective of your ethnicity, your race, we are all humans. And we have privileges. That's it. I'm, I'm glad that the black man was there to speak out and voice out his opinion. And I love how Charlie was like, he, he don't have anything to answer you again. The black student right there just answered you the entire. You, it answered you your question. Like, he just gives it back to you, bro. This was amazing to watch. I loved the entire video. Comment down below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video with us. Mania, subscribe, and subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I, I just want a bag. Like an old lady. I'm back, wood smoking, I don't own papers, pass that 808, that don't, don't shake her, oh bitch you know I'm grinding like a pro skater, baby mama bugging, I'm so quick to hit ignore, buku bitch, just in my bed, I got scales on